Well, I'm here with Danny for a game called Poncho, which I must admit I hadn't heard of before I arrived. So tell us about it. Okay, so Poncho is basically about this little robot guy called Poncho because he wears a poncho. It's got like, there's nothing else there. Like, we just think it's cute. But like, um, it's about this little robot guy who's woken up in a post-apocalyptic world. Humanity's totally disappeared and he's left behind all these ruins and like nature's taken back the earth and all these robots that have been left behind now have to find purpose in life. And this little guy's woken up and he starts his journey to find his maker to possibly save humanity and bring them back. Um, so that's the thing, it's this open world, exploring, collecting stuff kind of game. And um, the main thing that makes it different, like to, our, to the other platformers, is that it's got this plane shifting mechanics. So you can actually shift into the backgrounds and foregrounds of all these 2D layers. So it's got this kind of 3D, literal depth of exploration to it. Yeah, I, I had a quick go on it, and it was actually really interesting. It reminded me, in some ways, it's particularly with the art style as well, of um, Fez, yeah, which yeah. was. Um, Oh, that was a uh, Xbox Live Arcade game a while ago, wasn't it? So, was there some inspiration there, or? Um, I think I've always felt that Poncho is more inspired by like um, old Sega games we used to play in the art style and stuff. And uh, as a designer, I'm mainly inspired by games like Braid, uh, Cave Story as well. There's a little bit of that in this. Um, so I think mainly those. I mean, Fez came out while we were developing it, and uh, maybe that was a slight influence, but mainly it's those two. And it's coming out for Wii U confirmed, definitely. Yes, definitely Wii U. It's also coming out on Steam, uh, PS4 and Vita. And we may get 3DS. That's one of the things we're clamoring for right now. So possibly that in the future. As well. It would look good on the 3DS, yeah. wouldn't it? Let's yeah. be honest with those. I know, it's got the whole 3D mechanic as well to go with it. So yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed, yeah. So, and it's published by Rising Star Games. Is that yes. correct? Yeah. Um, the thing is, uh, we were running a Kickstarter last year and uh, Unfortunately, it failed. We did. We only got like almost 40% of our funding for that, so that failed. And then we got, out of the blue got an email from Rising Star Games. Hey, your game looks really good. Saw the trailer and everything. Uh, let's talk about this. And then we started working together, and it's been really great. They handle the business marketing stuff, and we just make the game. It's great. Excellent. And it's coming soon, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very soon. We're looking at sometime sort of summer, autumn this year. So it's going to be like literally the next several months. Tremendous. Well, thanks very much. That's really informative. Really looking forward to the game. Um, is there anything else you'd like to finish on? Uh, just uh, if you want to know more about it, just follow us on Twitter. Just search Poncho Game. We'll be right there. And also Facebook. So, uh, yeah, we go daily updates, screenshots, trailers, that kind of thing. So if you're interested, just give that a look. Excellent. Thank you very much.